notice the absence of the first edition sticker though so yeah I'm definitely gonna open them uh, there was no first edition stuff at the store I mean they're there's they're completely gone by this point you'll have to wait until the next wave comes out before you can get first editions um, you might still get lucky you might still even be able to find some next week but I doubt it I seriously doubt it they're all gone by now um, but this is the Vader with the removable helmet that splits into to two pieces it's awesome and he's got the I believe I believe he's got a modified version of one of the more articulated uh, Vader's I don't think he's the VOTC Vader but I think he's one of the more articulated ones they've released uh, but he's definitely a rehash of some kind um, I don't know if the helmet the whole head sculpt and the helmets bit is a rehash but I definitely know the body's a rehash I've seen it before yeah, but yeah this, this figure is awesome cannot wait to open him and look at that picture on the side there that's just awesome from the from far away look at this packaging it's just fantastic the only thing it's missing is the first first day sticker so yeah I'll be doing a separate review for this guy and as you can see he forms R7 the the bits and pieces all the for some reason all the Vaders come with the heads and the bottoms I don't know why that is, uh, but they just do it like that, I guess. This one says, As has been the custom of the Jedi and Sith for many centuries, Vader uses a meditation chamber to enhance his powers. Within this sp specially, within this specially pressurized uh, hyperbaric enclosure, the Sith Lord is able to remove his mask briefly and still be able to breathe. So... It's basically the Vader that's exposing his helmet and her face in the uh, the movie, the second I think it's the second movie, which is uh, Empire Strikes Empire Strikes Back. Um, so yeah, these figures are awesome. You, you need to get them if you like Star Wars, and if you're like me and you haven't been buying them for a while, it's time to sort of check back into to Hasbro's Star Wars line because they're getting better. And the packaging has never looked this good, in my opinion. I mean, it's just fantastic. The only thing that rivals this packaging is the original packaging from back in the 70s. So, I would highly recommend getting this figure. I haven't even, I haven't even opened him yet, and he's already awesome. So, get him. Hey, guys. Uh, finally finishing up this uh, review. Um, I started to do a bit of it shortly after I got back from vacation, but I just, I don't know, I couldn't finish it for some reason. This is the best Darth Vader figure I have. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this figure except for two things, and those were nitpicks. Uh, first off, re remove the top piece here. Take him off the stand. Um. If you can see that, there is a bit of a gap. I don't know why the camera's not. There we go. There's a bit of a gap on the on this side of his face. Uh, unlike this side where it's flush, uh, it's not too noticeable unless there's light going directly through the face. That's one nitpick. Uh, the other thing is his waist. It, uh, it doesn't. It, it, it can move, but I wouldn't recommend moving it because the way this figure is constructed is the belt is snapped onto the waist, and this tunic uh, is one whole piece, and it 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 goes all all the way around the body, around the back, and everything. And the belt, of course, does go over that, and it, which is snapped into the rest of the body. So you can't really um, you can't really move the waist that much. Other than that, he's he's pretty good and one thing about my figure this no one that's no one's figures are guaranteed to be like this but my figure couldn't hold the lightsaber very well so I used the rubber band a uh, clear rubber band to uh, to you know uh, make him hold the lightsaber without it falling out but that's just my figure right there right there um, anyways his articulation Let's stand him up here real quick his articulation 
very posable. I mean, his arm can go all the way around. But you can't actually see this. You know, it can go like that. It's the ball joint right here, so it gets a lot of movement, and then a swivel in the in the in the wrist. Uh, same for the other arm. The head can turn. It, does a it can do a 360. Um, like I said, the waist doesn't move. Uh, the legs can go up like that. Whoa, hello, close up. Um, they can go up like that. They can go back. Uh, they are a ball joint right here, and his hat does come off a lot. So, uh, this helmet, I don't know why I said hat. Um, anyways, ball joint. So, you can get some really decent poses out of him. Plus, he does have really articulated uh, feet. Um, put him back on a stand here, real quick. And get the helmet back on. The coolest thing about him, though, is he's got this sort of force choke hand. Uh, it's more accurate than the other. I have a few figures that, that try to do this with the hand, and I think this is more accurate. So, Vader back on the stand. And there we go. And his, hat keeps, his helmet keeps popping off. Damn. It won't stay on. Okay, so there's Vader. Um, detailing, you know, in my opinion, it's one of the the better bodies that they've used so far. And this chest piece actually is a separate piece that they slapped on, uh, which I think is pretty cool. And now to the most important feature about this particular figure. Get him off the stand. Helmet removes from the top. And you can see all the scars on the back and whatnot. Well, here is another one that removes. It's a two-piece removable helmet, which is pretty cool. And you get some nice detail uh, right here. And it does look like the actor that played the older Anakin. So it's pretty cool. Put the pieces back on. Now the helmet can warp. Uh, mine, mine came warped out of the package. It took me a couple of times uh, trying to get it warped back into place with a blow dryer. I still might need to do it a couple more times. So that's that's another problem, but it's that's easy to fix if you just have some patience. Okay, so articulation is great. You know, I give it a 9.5 just because the only thing you really can do is move the waist. Or you'll rip the tunic, the cloth tunic. Um, the the quality is really really good. It's a 9.5. Um, I really like when companies do um, fabric material for things like capes and uh, you know tunic pieces and stuff like that. Uh, I think it works better, and especially how they made the tunic on on this part. Usually this part is always uh, just plastic. I, I think that's that's. You know, I think that's excellent that they that they've used a lot of fabric for this figure. So quality is a 9.5. Uh, that includes design, sculpt, paint, everything. Um, uh, overall, the figure overall, packaging and everything. I think a pack. I think the packaging is a 10. This is fantastic. Um, so overall, the figure is easily a 9.5. Uh, easily. It, so somewhere between a nine and to a ten, depending on. But he's easily in the nine to ten range. So you need to, you really need to pick this figure up. He's awesome.